Alrighty, so uh, right now I'm going to show you about the camera switching system that Campbell implemented for Durian. Um, this, of course, as everything is, subject to change. Uh, it's not the most ideal system, but I find it quite useful. And while it's here, you might as well know how to use it. So I've just opened up the cabin environment file. We've already got one camera in here. Um, uh, but by the way, uh, while we're here, you can select the camera by going to the sec select menu and go select camera. So now I've got it actually selected. Um, but I'm going to open up a timeline. And the way that camera switching works is it's linked to markers. So I'm just going to make a marker on frame 22 by hitting M with my mouse over the timeline. Now I'm going to create another uh, camera. I'll just put it right in the middle of the scene rotate it somewhere not really the way I place cameras scale it down just for kicks so now we've got two cameras in the scene uh, and one marker so to bind a camera to a marker that is the process you select a camera you make it active by going control numpad 0 and in the view menu there is a menu item bind camera to markers. So we've got this marker selected. I'm just going to do the shortcut control B. So now this camera that is selected uh, or active that is, and you can tell that it's active because this uh, triangle above it is filled in. That is bound to that marker. Now I'm going to go forward to frame 95, hit M to add another marker. I'm going to select this camera go into it with control numpad 0 and with my mouse over the timeline hit control B. Alright, so it's a little bit of a, uh, a work flow that you gotta get used to, but now if I just scrub you'll see how it switches around and you can move the marker to change the frame uh, which the, uh, the camera switch. You can reorder them, you can name them uh, and that is done actually in a really hacky way by going to the frame menu and actually just clicking here, la la la, and shot A, like so. Um, but this is how it was done for Durian, and it's really handy. Um, I guess that'll be it for this one. Thanks. Uh, a little addendum to that is uh, a little shortcut that Campbell added that I thought was useful. Um, and that is control clicking on any of these markers because they're bound um, will uh, select that camera. So it's just a, a nice easy way to access the cameras in your scene. And another little thing is um, if you make it n unrenderable by, I'll, I usually go control H, um, then it will not actually switch. Uh, so it's still technically bound, but when you're playing around with shot order and stuff, sometimes you actually don't want it to switch, or if you just want to see what this camera sees, you know, for beyond, instead of moving the frame that you've got and you've decided on, you can just temporarily disable the renderability of that camera and, um, you know, enable it again once you want uh, the switch to actually occur. So, uh, yeah.